Become the healthiest version of yourself with these 15 habits you should implement daily. What's up love bugs? Welcome back to Next Door Vegan, your channel on all things vegan. Today's video is a little bit different because we're not only talking about veganism, but about being healthy overall. Studies show that in order for something to become a habit, you have to do it consistently for 21 days. So the following 15 habits are some great ways you can become a healthier version of yourself. I challenge you to pick at least five that you think you could implement for 21 days in a row and let me know how it goes. As always, if you like these kind of videos, please Please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the vegan fun. But without further ado, let's get into these 15 habits. So the first habit may seem silly, but it's probably the easiest on the list and it's to make your bed in the morning. I know it might seem like what's the point if you're not going to be around or even see it, but it does help you start your day off on the right foot. And if you can't control anything throughout your day, you might as well make your bed because that is one thing you can definitely control. The second habit you can implement daily is meditation. I like to do this first thing in the morning after I make my bed to start my morning off on a calm note as opposed to scrolling through my phone. It may seem like something that's hard to do because you just have to sit there with your thoughts and breathe, but the more you focus on your breath, the easier it gets. I personally like to count how long I breathe in and then count how long I breathe out so that's all I focus on or I like to use guided meditations that I can find on YouTube and there's also plenty of apps that you can use to meditate as well the third habit you can implement daily is to start a gratitude journal there's plenty of different prompted journals that you can buy that prompt you on how to express gratitude or just help you fill out like the same thing every day but you could also just take a regular note book and just write at least five things that you're grateful for every morning because this really helps ease anxiety and it also just makes you overall happier because you realize how many great things you have in your life to be thankful for. Number four is to drink water. Obviously everybody tells you to hydrate and always drink a lot of water but I like to at least drink a full glass first thing upon waking up and then I also have an app called Waterminder that reminds me throughout the day to drink water. This is really helpful for me because I used to not drink like any water. I used to maybe drink like some throughout the day, but now I'm noticing that I'm actually drinking a lot of water. It's really keeping my skin glowing, makes everything more regular, and it gives, honestly, it gives me more energy and makes it so that I'm not having different kinds of cravings throughout the day. The next thing you can do daily is to set a daily mantra for yourself. So there's plenty of ways that you can do this. I personally write a mantra daily on my Instagram Instagram stories. So if you're not following me already, please be sure to do so. Next door vegan underscore on Instagram. Every day I post a story with a daily mantra and I try to challenge people in different ways with different polls or like just affirming it and asking questions. So you could set the mantra for your day with my stories or you can go ahead and write different mantras down. I have a journal that just asks me to write about all my strengths. So I will write like I am strong. I am I'm healthy, I'm happy, I'm abundant. You can write the same one over and over again if you feel like it, or you can write a bunch, it's really up to you. But I noticed the I am statements help me feel more empowered in the morning, but also I use an app called I am, and it sends me notifications throughout the day of different mantras that I repeat to myself to just kind of bring myself more grounding and just gratitude throughout the day. So setting a daily mantra in the morning Morning is such a great way to start off the day on a happy note. You could also include this in your meditation practice and repeat to yourself the mantra as you meditate. The next habit that I like to do daily is to stretch. And the older I get, the more stiff I am, especially working out and sitting at a desk most of the day. So I do like to pull out my yoga mat and just do some stretching. I have a membership online with like yoga classes, but most of the time I just feel like 
free styling it and doing what feels good to my body. So I encourage you to do whatever feels good to you, but obviously if you want to make it more of a daily practice, then you could find different videos on YouTube. Or again, there's always an app for everything, so you can find that on your phone as well. So the seventh habit you can implement daily is start your morning with a smoothie. So after you have your water, make a smoothie with whatever fruits you like. This helps detoxify the body and it starts the day off on a good amount of fruit so you don't have to worry whether or not you're getting enough fruit throughout the day. I've been doing this for the past four months and I've really noticed an improvement in my skin, my energy, my bowel movements. It's just great for your body. I know who wants to talk about that but it really is great for your body and it just feels so good and it's really refreshing because after sleeping for so long it's just like that crisp like coolness of a smoothie is just a great way to start the day. I used to only like oatmeal and coffee first thing in the morning but now I just have to have the smoothie. It's become such a habit for me and it tastes so good and it's just so refreshing. I'll make the smoothie and then I'll go ahead and check my emails and just do a little bit of work and then I'll have a cooked breakfast a little bit later. So after I have my morning smoothie, I like to plan out my day by writing a to-do list. I also like to write out what I plan to eat the rest of the day just so I don't really have to think about it on the spot and get overwhelmed when I'm hungry and make poor decisions. So after I've done a little bit of work and it's time for a break, I like to take the dogs out. If you don't have dogs, you can just go on a walk by yourself, but I highly encourage you to have some headphones and some music, some sunglasses, wear sunscreen. It's just great to get outside in the sun and the fresh air, especially if you work all day at home. It's just sometimes you just need those breaks outside to feel good. You want to get your steps in. It is a great healthy habit to implement daily, especially for those of us who work all day at a desk. So the 10th habit you can implement daily is to read a book. I like to commit to a chapter a day and I typically read a chapter during my lunch break. I am trying to be a little bit more mindful while I eat my lunch but I figured reading a book especially something that's more personal development style is better than scrolling through my phone while I'm eating. Lunchtime has just always been kind of this habit that I've had ever since I started working in an office. It was just I always bring a book with me for my lunch break and that's that's how I get my reading in. But obviously, whenever you can fit it in is good, especially if you're doing something like personal development. But don't forget to include something more fun too because reading is fundamental for everyone. All right, and the next one is a fun habit you can implement daily, but it's to dance and sing and just be goofy and have fun. I love to take dance breaks, especially with new music and just blast my music and give myself a little bit of fun time just so I can get moving and burn some calories and just be silly. and. It it feels good to just release the seriousness of your day and just have a little dance party. I especially like doing this before I'm gonna go work out. If I'm gonna have like a little pre-workout, kind of gets me in the mood to go work out. So dance your little heart away. Don't be afraid to get silly and have some fun in your day. The 12th habit is to take vitamins. I know it's kind of like, uh, duh, that's like an obvious healthy habit. Once the pandemic happened, I started taking more vitamins like regularly because I was getting really stressed out. And so I started taking more like supplements that help with stress. So you've probably seen it in another video of mine, but I do order vitamins from this company called Nourished. It's in the UK, so it takes a little bit to ship here, but it is really unique because they actually 3D print the vitamins that you select. So you pick seven in your stack is what they call it. And they 3D print those vitamins and then coat it with a flavoring. They used to just have sour and sweet, and I would get the sweet one because it's like a nice little sweet snack. Now they have other flavors too but what's really unique and cool about this is that it comes in all plastic free packaging which is something I always had like trouble with when I was like ordering a lot of vitamins from like another company it was just so many plastic bottles and so this really brings down the waste because it's only in one vitamin I don't have to order a bunch of different bottles of vitamins and it just comes in that one stack and even the wrappers are made from wood pulp and they're compostable so and that's really neat and those vitamins come in a box and they even put the box in like a compostable envelope. My point is though for vegans especially we need to be taking B12 and vitamin D so it's pretty neat because you can put that in your stack but you want to be sure that you're taking vitamins to give you some energy and make sure you're staying healthy. The 13th daily habit that you can implement is exercise and of course I am sure you knew that I was going to say that I am like a fitness fanatic but it doesn't have to be lifting weights like I like to do. I used to do a lot of boxing, a lot of like dance classes, spin, anything that you enjoy that gets your body moving. Obviously the walks 
can be part of that, but dedicate an hour to your day to exercise and see how your life improves, especially when it comes to your confidence because I used to be really insecure and just not happy with my body until I started exercising regularly and it just changed my whole aura. I wasn't a confident person until I started working out and feeling better about myself because hey, if I'm eating right and I am exercising, then I'm doing everything I can to look and feel my best and it keeps you healthy. So be sure to implement exercising into your daily habits and watch how your life changes. Okay, so we're getting down to the last couple habits here, but this is kind of a funny one, but number 14, put lotion on before you go to bed and bonus points if it has some type of aromatherapy benefit. So I like to use this Pacifica lavender lotion. It smells really good. Lavender is supposed to be relaxing and you can put it on your feet, on your hands and kind of just like breathe it in and it helps to relax you before bed. Obviously putting on lotion also makes your skin healthy and keeps your skin hydrated and reduces wrinkles. So that's great too, but I wanted to include this because it's like a nighttime ritual that you can implement to make sure that you get a good amount of sleep and that you fall asleep quickly because that's always really the challenge. And then lastly, the 15th habit is to make sure you get enough sleep. So the, the best range that I notice is between seven and eight hours. Uh, you can also try to eliminate blue light before bed. I have these red lights in my bedroom. They really make it nice for me to fall asleep. Red is supposed to like help you fall asleep. So I put those on before I go to bed and it just relaxes me and gets me ready for a good night's sleep. All right, love bugs. Those were 15 healthy habits that could change your life. If you plan on implementing five of them for the next 21 days to challenge yourself to see if they could become actual habits in your life, please be sure to leave them in the comments below. I'd love to support you on your journey to a healthy lifestyle. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the vegan fun. New videos come out every Friday, so I'll see you next time. I hope you have a vegan day. Bye!